Hey everyone, it's Kara. I am 13 weeks and one day today. Um, I have a feeling this one's kind of going to be a long video, only because I've tried to tape it once before, and it was like 15 minutes, but I really like talking, so yeah, anyway. Um, I guess I'll start with my symptoms. Um, don't really have many of them, but I haven't really had many of them in general. So, um, one of the things is that my boobs still kind of hurt, but what hurts the most, <laughs> that's a song, anyway, what hurts the most is my nipples. They hurt so bad, and I don't even know why, they just hurt really bad. And then they've got like white little spots on them between the cracks and stuff. I don't know what that is. Um, I'm a little bit dizzy more. Like if I move around a lot, like at one time, I'll get really dizzy. Um, still, still, um, gassy. I don't know, every time I say that, it just, it just seems like a really awkward statement telling the world I'm gassy. But, you know what I mean if you're pregnant. You know exactly what I mean. Also, one of the other things is I still have, like, some bouts of nausea. Not so much morning sickness, but just the nausea, like, queasy portion. Um, I did almost have a bout of morning sickness this morning, um, but I think it's because I just didn't eat right when I got up like I usually do. I waited for like a half an hour later because I had to get ready like so fast for work. So that may be why. Um, oh, I hate when I say um a lot. It's really annoying. And I know it's annoying too, so... You're not alone if you find it annoying. Wow. Yeah, um... <laughs> I can already see this isn't gonna go well. So, that's... I think... Oh, no. Um, I also have morning... Not morning. I also have lower back pain. And it's, like, right down, like, at the base of your back like where the top of your butt is yeah it hurts there and it hurts like uh, in the front like I told you not like I told you but I wrote down in last week's video the round ligament pain my doctor said usually people don't get them until they're like 14 weeks but since um, this isn't my first pregnancy she said people who have been pregnant before are bound to have round ligament pain sooner so that's probably why and it hurts but it's like if you're moving around like changing position it hurts if you're standing a lot it hurts um, if you stretch not sure I want to do yoga if it hurts when I stretch but I guess we'll see how it goes I still want to go swimming the only exercise I get is like every day but it's walking around at work and I walk around so much. It's almost like eight hours of straight walking. <laughs> so that was uh, pretty intense. Um, it doesn't sound so annoying if I say it like really slow. I don't know. Anyway, um, one thing I am like really craving and like addicted to is fruit juices. Love them. I don't want to be without them. And I even have some orange juice with me right now. <laughs> it's either orange juice or apple juice that I find myself like drinking a lot. Um, sometimes it is cranberry juice, but I just love it anyway because of the tart tanginess. I don't know. But orange juice and apple juice a lot. Um, what else? I think that's all my symptoms. Um, I also have, I guess to update on my doctor's appointment that I had, we did get to hear the heartbeat. Um, it was 
so exciting. I couldn't help but smile like the whole time. I just wanted to like ball myself up and like cry. I was so excited. And it's really fast for 12 weeks and three days when we went. It was pretty fast. It was 170 beats per minute. And um, yeah, she said he was moving around, not he, but she said the baby was moving around a lot, like trying to get away from it. And I think that's so cute. Like every time she would move the Doppler over on my stomach to get her better, like sound, um, it would move and she would have to like try and find it again. It's so cute. Um, she put it on there for a good like five minutes, just following him around and he just moved around my stomach and it's so cute. Um, Daniel was very excited. He asked if it was me or the baby because last time all she could hear was me and like the blood flow. So she's like, so he asked if it was me or the baby and she said it was definitely the baby and his face just like lit up. He was so excited. It's so cute. Um, I really wish I would have gotten it on video camera, but I'll ask her one of these days if I can get, um, like a video of the heartbeat so that I can send it to my mom so she can see. Um, but yeah, so that was just so exciting. I was getting my flu shot, and I don't like shots, but I figured it was probably a good idea just because after you give birth when you're breastfeeding, the immunity that you got from it is kind of going to transfer over to him until he can get his shots. So, you know, that's, that's really good. And I really want him to have all, hey, hey, oh, he or she to have all of the immunity stuff that he can have. So, yeah, I really don't like shots. So I thought I was going to, like, crush Daniel's hand. I was, like, squeezing it so hard. Uh, what else? trying to think of things to say. Um, on Monday the 8th, it's three days before my next appointment, so I, we get to, I get to go set up our WIC stuff. And if you don't know what that is, I don't know if it's just in Colorado or not, but what WIC is, is they send you checks to a particular store that, of your choosing. Um, and it helps you pay for your groceries, like your nutritious food and stuff, but you have to go to like an hour long nutrition class and stuff like that. So I'm really excited about getting that stuff set up only because, you know, we can help out with the grocery bill so much with our family. Um, yeah, and then Thursday, we get to go to the doctor's appointment again. We get to hear the heartbeat once again, and I'm so excited. Uh, but we also are going because this past two weeks, I lost three pounds. Unintentionally, I don't even know how it happened. Um, but yeah, the three pounds I gained, the previous appointment, I ended up losing. So I'm back down to my normal weight before I got pregnant or before the OB intake anyway. So I'm back down to that weight and she said she's really worried. I should have gained like five pounds by last week for the whole time and since I lost them I haven't gained any. So she's really worried about that. She told me, especially for me since I'm a really tiny person and I'm really tall, that I should be gaining 35 to 40 pounds for the whole pregnancy. So that kind of worries me. I'm not sure how that's going to happen because I, it's probably just my genes, but for the past five years, I haven't gained or lost any weight. It's been exactly the same. Hasn't changed at any part of the five years. So I don't know how I'm going to gain almost 40 pounds within less than 10 months. So if you haven't, like, any ideas on how I can gain weight, um, but gain it steadily, <laughs> um, you know, that'd be great, because I really 
want to gain as much as I should for it, but not too much. So I think I personally, for me, want to stick within like 30 pounds. So, yeah, any, any suggestions or anything I should get that would help me, that would be amazing. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I don't know if it's because I'm pregnant or not, but my hair is growing, like, so fast. And I'm not talking about my head hair. <laughs> I'm talking about, like, leg hair. I have stomach hair that I didn't even know was there. Um, I got the hair on my, uh, yeah, growing pretty fast. My underarms. Everything is just growing like wildfire. And I don't know what to do. <laughs> Besides, like, shave every day. Uh, it's made my head hair greasy, though. So it's making everything else grow faster, but my head hair is greasy. Um, the only relief I get, well, no, here's the thing. It's greasy, but it's dry. So it's all crackly and weird feeling. Um, my nails are really shiny and really, really strong. Like, I've never had strong nails. And I can't even chew through these. Like, that's how bad it is. That's how strong they are. Um, but it's a good thing. I'm hoping that stays. Because <laughs> I don't want brittle nails again. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions, definitely go ahead and put a comment down below. Or send me a message, whichever you're more comfortable with. Um, I answer everyone. If you haven't noticed in any of my previous videos, I have answered everyone's question, I've answered everyone's comment, I said thank you, and all kinds of stuff like that. So I will answer everyone, even, even if it's like 50,000 comments. I will answer you all. It just might take some time. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess I'll show you my belly, and then I'll let you guys go so you can get on with your life. So, this is 13 weeks and one day. My boobs have gotten a lot bigger for me, so it might look a little awkward for you. It's really firm, like down here, like really firm. And then it's all squishy up here, <laughs> but it's like solid down here. Alright, so I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day.